GW. The offense on GW, Yinka DeRay. He didn't score the entire game. He did dish Omo Moses. So, yes, one of six first half trays for GW. Temple was getting an icy stare because they were icy cold. Brunson misses. Jason Ivey goes up. Get it out of here, says Kwame Evans. The Owls had no field goals the last nine minutes of the half. Second half, a roll reversal. Aaron McKee hits. The Colonial scored only 10 points in the half. Owls continue to pour it on. Eddie Jones steal coast to coast and finishes with a flush. And that's how it ends as Temple pours it on and pours him away. McKee recovering from that bad left knee and ankle scored 19. Jones 13. John Chaney picks up win number 500. Let's break down G. Galston. Nightmares for the Minutemen. First, the block on Marcus Camby. Then to close the half, Pimpkins the lob, and Austin brings it down. He had 18 at the break. Dukes by one. Kenya Hunter continues it in half two. Where's the UMass D? Calipari gets a time and searches for it. Also gets some O from Mike Williams. He had 19. The Dukes went 10-30 without a field goal. Williams again. UMass on a 27-2 run. Edgar Padilla up. And down comes Lou Rowe. He had 14 points, 11 and a half, two. Camby also adds 14. So the big run comes right after the, the Calipari timeout. John Carroll of Duke, Duke's coach. They smelled blood. They went right for it. Focus now from February. Big East coaches, Big East buddies. Abdullah, Abdul. Abdul, Abdul. Stolen. Don Reed, the dunk. He had 16. Georgetown gets going. Go give him a T. Providence pushes the ball. Eric Williams. Finds Dickie Simpkins on the baseline, and he slams it down. John Thompson says, if you're going to go to the tournament, bring me with you, Rick Barnes. So what does this all mean? Well, Providence most likely gets in. Last year, they were snubbed. The number of strength of schedule should be more than enough. G-Town, another question. Thompson feels they belong, and if they do get in, the Big East will end up sending five, maybe six in what is supposed to be. 74 in the final seconds. Kevin Larkin finds Odell Hodge for the hoop, and ODU is up 76 74, so Lefty needs a big play. Darren McClinton driving and missing. Ritter rebounds. Odell Hodge blocks the shot. Still a two point lead. Just over one second to play. Lefty needs a play. He needs a big play. There's Kaluko. He's got the shot. He's got it. It was all money, and there it is. Yeah, oops, there it is. Even at 62 years old, Lefty not too old to celebrate as the Dukes rally from a 19-point deficit with 13 minutes left in the second half to win. So James Madison reaching the NCAAs for the first time since 1983 as McClinton had 21 to lead Lefty's team. Mascots want to go to the big dance. Dana Jones fighting underneath. Goes up with the left hand, and that's good. So Pepperdine takes the one-point lead. 20 seconds left. Hank Egan's team down by three. The three ball for the tie comes up short. Pepperdine comes away with the victory. Scoreless in the final 315 for the Toreros, the third NCAA trip in the last four seasons for the Waves of Pepperdine. And the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference, Loyola, Maryland against Manhattan. <laughs> I guess the... Uh, the diet pills aren't working. Loyola down by one. Johnson hits the big three, so they're up one. The Greyhounds a couple of free throws and have a three-point lead. Manhattan needs a three-point to tie, but Williams steals the pass. They run out the clock, and Manhattan the loser. Show, baby. We're going to shoot a big dance. Woo! It tasted good for the Greyhounds. They raced back from 16 points down for their first ever berth in the NCAA tournament last year. Loyola lost 25 of 27 games out of last year. And Coach Eldon Miller's a big fan of body shaping. Chris Lowry for three and it drops. He had 12 at 67, 64 late. Randy Blocker had 18. Dishes to Sims. We're tied at 67. Down three. And Sims lets it go through his hands. Coach Miller. Time for some sit-ups. The Saluki celebrate. They repeat as tourney titleists. All five starters in double figures. Chris Carr leads the way with 20. The Salukis are peaking at the right time. Chris, they have now won eight in a row. Campbell and Liberty, the championship of the Big South. Jody Chapman cutting, receiving, laying it in. Flames up 17 at the half. Second half, Campbell fights back with the D. Chris Toomer, the pass ahead to Chapman. But Joe Spink says, not here, not now. Liberty responds. Peter Aluma. Returns the favor with a block of his own. Jerry Falwell. His team is in the minority, as they're only one of 64. 
going to the dance, the whole moral majority minority. <laughs> First tourney trip ever for Liberty. First half was the key, and the key was the poor shooting of Joe Sp Going. How about Indy? Midwest Collegiate Conference semis. Detroit Mercy, Xavier. Steve Gentry, Tyrus Walker. A 24-6-1. Xavier up 73-66. Jenkins for two. He had 22. It's a one-point game. Xavier, 20 seconds left. One last chance. They trail two. Gentry, a bad decision, throws it away. Jackson would later hit two free throws. He ends up with 20, and Perry Watson's team eliminates the company guy, Pete Gillen. The winner of this conference does not, does not get an automatic bid. The Musketeers were the only real threat to get in that large bid, and this loss hurts. A week's stretch this three to tie from Kenny Williams, and it falls. It's 56 up, and it's got to be the shoes. Ben Berlowski, we're going to double team. What does he do? He finds Jeff Nordgaard. And look out for Logan Vandervelden and the bucket. Fighting Phoenix by three. Williams, he already hit one three. Same spot. This to tie. It's online. It's no good. Wisconsin Green Bay is going to, everybody jump. Going to go to the NCAAs. Kenny Williams feeling the pain. The Flames lose. Vandervelden will become a hero if they do anything in the tournament <laughs> because of the name. Said with about three minutes left, he looked up at the clock and decided, I've got to step it up. Make it four straight. Conference final losses for the Flames. Currently looking to get back to the NCAAs. And let's walk before we can run. Tony Moore for three. Byron Starks for three. Michael Allen, and they're all good. The Cajuns, the early lead. Ralph Willard, not pleased. Hilltoppers get the passing going. Cephas Bunton finishes. Western Kentucky within three at the half. Second half, the Cajuns open it up using the D. Brian Collins steals. Byron Starks, you guessed it, another three. Moore, Cajun D. Tony Moore steps in. Starks, he'll miss. Who's there? Collins, the monster follow. And Marty Fletcher and the Rage and Cajuns go on to the run to the NCAAs. Neither team bashful about launching from three. The Rage and Cajun, they took 25. The Hilltoppers, 24. Hilltoppers may still get in with 20 wins and a schedule that featured games with the Heels, Hoosiers, and...